how you all doing today? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It is Ben Nikolavsky, the CEO of Pure Extracts. How are you doing today, Ben? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. This is actually our second interview. We've done one before at the Cannabis Conference about a year ago. And right. I'm very excited that now you are about to IPO and go public. So congratulations. Thank you. Very exciting. Yeah, I can, I can imagine. Very exciting. And we've been talking to our community about your company and we're excited to learn more about Pure Extracts. So why don't we get right into it? Why don't you tell us about Pure Extracts and how you got involved? Sure. So Pure Extracts is a plant-based extractor and we extract um, a host of different plant-based products, uh, functional mushrooms, Cannabis, hemp is our uh, our three lines of, of business. Uh, I was previously involved in a large scale cultivar called Natura Naturals that we sold to Tilray uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, so I've been in the cannabis business for several years. My team is uh, seasoned CPG and cannabis folks. Uh, some from the alcohol side of the business also from a CBG perspective. Um, so uh, I've been in the agricultural slash cannabis business for you know, a decade, give or take. Um, so seasoned professional, we actually retired uh, after our uh, brief uh, sale from uh, Tilray. And the one business that I would come back for, as I told my friends, was something in the extraction business um, that really made sense. Because to me, the 2.0 products that are coming online, both from a function and uh, psilocybin perspective and a cannabis perspective is where the market is you know, really going to today. And that's what really excites me about this opportunity and uh, the reason why I came out of retirement for, uh, for one more uh, lap around the, the field. Now, really excited. So let's talk about what are the main focuses of Pure Extracts? So we have three lines of business, as I said, you know, our uh, first line of business is extraction and for the cannabis slash hemp space. So I'll kind of, you know, wrap those into, into one business line. So we do um, the tolling, which is taking in product from other LPs and hemp providers, running them through our extraction process, either full spectrum or making a distillate product through an ethanol process and returning it back to those LPs. And they're using it in a host of different products and they pay us a fee for that. Highly lucrative uh, from that perspective. We have two of those contracts uh, underway. Um, we also do white labeling as uh, we create the products, but put their label on it, vape cartridges, tinctures and the like, and then we return it to them and they sell it on to the, the provinces. And then we have our Pure Poles um, products and Pure Edibles, which is branded product that we sell directly to the uh, the provincial entities, um, where our formulations, custom formulations, we're a full spectrum product provider. Um, we also have a uh, exciting edible that we're going to launch in the end of uh, first Q. That's uh, from a very prominent U.S. brand that we'll be announcing very shortly. Wow! Um, so super exciting, super exciting. Some proprietary packaging that gets rid of a whole bunch of issues that uh, people have around edibles and the temperature variations. So super excited about that. And so uh, that's our, our main lines of business in our cannabis hemp business. And then we have our functional mushroom segment of the business. Uh, we looked at the functional uh, mushroom business as a whole. And really that business hasn't changed a lot since the 60s. People are still grinding up functional mushroom, capsulizing the powder and selling it on at retail. When we looked at that product set, we wanted to take that from a holistic brand uh, methodology to a nutraceutical type product, extracting the functional mushrooms, you know, mixing them with other botanicals. Eventually we'll be mixing them with some forms of cannabis um, and bringing that to market. Really upgrading the product so you have the traceability, authenticity of the product set. And you know the dosing, you're not worried about where it came from because it's been run through a purification process. And you can, you can definitely do more from a formulation perspective than using uh, powdertized products. Um, and it's just from a dosing perspective, it's easier to deal with and, and safer for the consumer. So that's the, the, the first part of our business. And we're the commercialization agent for uh, people that are producing functional mushrooms. We're in discussion with some of the most prominent um, producers today that are in the functional space that want us to take over their manufacturing and, uh, and formulations of some of their products. And then we go one step further and being a plant-based extractor, we know how to work with mushrooms and other plant-based uh, products 
as psilocybin becomes legalized, uh, we have a relationship with uh, Dr. McGregor and the uh, Trans Pharma Institute in Toronto. They have a dealer's license for a narcotics license for R&D. Um, as our clients come online to commercialize a production of psilocybin, we, we will have that ability to uh, produce commercialized psilocybin for the medical field. We're going through the process of, of uh, our dealer's license and assessing the uh, requirements for that in our new facility. As you know, our facility was built to a, a GMP standard uh, in Pemberton. Um, so as we upgrade our, our lab equipment to handle um, eventually our, our narcotics license, we'll be able to produce that product as it becomes legal in Canada. And while we do R&D, our partner with, uh, with Transpharma will be able to do our R&D research with us under their, uh, under their dealer's license. Now, the extraction market has had some pricing pressures as of late. The entire cannabis sector has, specifically in Canada. How does Pure intend to combat this issue? Well, the market in Canada is is under a little bit of pressure from extraction. Um, we are a very lean shop to begin with. We've lived through the, the famine part of being a large-scale cultivar when it was hard to raise money. So we know how to stretch a dollar first off. So our facility was very cost-effective from a, a CapEx perspective. The second part that we have the benefit for, for is biomass pricing. So when we originally looked at our pricing models and the business was put together, biomass was much higher. We're talking over a dollar a gram wholesale. We're now acquiring biomass at that 25 cents a gram wow. perspective. So our cogs are for the good, you know, the, the cost of extraction has fallen, but not as great as, uh, as the, the, uh, the amount of, Biomass has fallen even more. So, you know, on a net net perspective, our margins are sustained, if not better, because of the biomass input when we have to buy biomass and provide it to our customer. So, you know, we're able to we're able to compete, you know, head on with our, our larger counterparts, and our cost structure is much more favorable to them. Now, the extraction segment has a lot of opportunities as a whole. You mentioned some of it: uh, white labeling tolling, custom manufacturing. What is Pure's target segment and how will you stand out from your peers? Pure comes from a legacy uh, brand uh, background. So Doug Benville was involved in the green market before. Um, we have a proven track where we bought over 35 different formulations in the oil segment of full spectrum product. So we don't have to go to our lab and formulate things of that nature. Our science folks already have it in inventory. So that's the first off. So uh, we're able to bring products to market very quickly. Uh, the second area, you know, we focus on is, is branded product and private label. That's our two main focuses on the, uh, on the cannabis and hemp side, you will see pure, pure pulve, pure pro, uh, um, you know, uh, edibles uh, on market. So we'll have a branded product to safeguard our margins and also bringing these smaller LPs to market the white label products. We have the benefit of having all those different uh, formulations in-house already created. And we're being approached by a plethora of those small uh, LPs that have really great uh, ideas and formulations and some of their strains that they may have grown, but they don't have the ability to translate that into a product that they can sell to the provincial government. We have that ability under our white label programs to work with those smaller LPs. There are you know, a lot of small LPs, well-funded, well-ran, that, um, that need a uh, customized solution and they're not, you know, they're not a giant. And, and we're okay with that. We like the small to medium size uh, clients that, you know, we can give value add to them and they're more sticky that way. Now on speaking on that, do you have any arrangements in place with partners as of yet? We do. We have a we have two tolling arrangements already in place. We're working on several private label uh, program uh, uh, white label programs right now. We uh, received our license a few weeks ago, so uh, um, yeah. Thank you very much. You know, everything happens at once. You know, so uh, we're uh, we're pretty busy at the shop, but uh, we're working on several trials right now with uh, with different LPs for white labeling programs. So that'll be announced, you know, in the first quarter. Now, Pure mentions that they have a brand expansion plan. Can you elaborate on what that is? Sure. So, so as I talked about, Pure is a brand product itself. Have you seen some of my counterparts? You know, they've 
you know, figured out that you need a brand um, to survive in this market and you know, continue to foster your own products. We already you know, have that under our, our belt, pure poles and pure edibles in the gray market you know, was, was available. We bought the IP of that, nothing to do with the oil company, but we bought the formulations. Um, so we know that those products you know, sell and sell well. We are working on innovation to bring new products to the marketplace. We're all about innovations and bringing new products as to the Canadian market. We're working on some uh, products that are not seen in the Canadian marketplace that are available in the U.S. that we're bringing uh, north of the border um, in the edible space. And, that, and that's what really excites me about that business is the 2.0 products as they get more prevalence, the drinks, the, the edibles. You know, there's real segment growth. The nice thing about all those products is they need an oil-based product to be able to fulfill them. And that's that's right in our wheelhouse. So I'm super excited about that. And then the functional mushroom space, super excited also about that space. That's um, a green pasture and right? very, you know, it's like cannabis was five years ago. You know, we're there, there's just a lot of people trying to figure it out. The nice thing is that, you know, we have expertise in dealing with plant-based extraction. So uh, extracting in mushrooms and eventually psilocybin isn't a stretch for us. We've touched that material before. So we're able to extract for functional mushrooms and you can just see on your um, your Instagram feed, there's a plethora of, uh, of new products coming to market that have infused mushrooms in, in some you know, way. And we see more and more products coming to market and it becoming more mainstream like CBD was you know, four or five years ago. I look at functional mushrooms and I equate it to the new CBD of, of uh, this generation. Now you touched on it. So you're getting involved in the mushrooms and psychedelics markets to a certain degree. What's the go forward plan for this business segment? And why did you elect to enter the space? We entered the space um, by chance, to be honest with you. We weren't really looking at the functional mushroom and the psilocybin space. We were approached by four of probably what I would call the leading functional mushroom folks and psilocybin folks to look at helping them extract the product um, as wow. being one of the you know, well-known extractors on, in the market that, that have touched you know, plant-based products. Uh, we were approached by these companies to say, do you participate in the, in the mushroom market? And as we looked at that after call after call, we go, you know what, it's a viable market for us. We're a plant-based extractor. One plant is really no different than, than us. And our science team has already um, done some R&D in that area through Dr. McGregor and some of his other folks. So we, uh, we had a natural progression. It wasn't uh, like we were hopping on the bangling. We got kind of pulled in versus where we pushed ourselves in. Um, it's a great segment. We, uh, we're working on three SKUs that will be launched at the end of first SKU uh, in the, uh, in the uh, functional space. And, uh, you know, we have the expertise and the ability to help those clients, you know, bring their products to market. Now, you guys have multiple business directions. Which one gets you the most excited right now? Which opportunity gets you really, really excited? Obviously, psychedelics is, like you said, something very new yeah. and very hot. Is, is that something that gets you more excited? Or are you more excited about extraction? You know what? I'm excited about extraction, period. Right. So if it's, you know, obviously the functional and psilocybin space, super interesting because I've seen firsthand what this psilocybin can do and help the, the general population from a medical side and how microdosing, you know, could change the, uh, the future of a lot of people out there and functional mushrooms. I personally, you know, I've hopped on the bandwagon and I take functional mushrooms every day and, and they really do help. So that's a super exciting area for growth for me. The hemp, CBD, and cannabis business um, is also exciting. Obviously, it's not a new story, but the product development that's going on and the distribution that's finally kicking in in Ontario, we're seeing that it's a viable business to make money in, and it's a viable area where you can have new product development and get penetration. Drinks are you know, a perfect example. You know, nobody thought the beverage area would really grab hold. It's not that prevalent in California or Oregon, um, but in uh, in Canada, you know, they've sold like two million uh, two million drinks since launch wow. in, 
in uh, February, March. So it's a, it's a viable business line and for sure. And we're seeing growth in the edible, uh, um, edible market for sure. And that's super exciting because you get to formulate and tinker for new, new product sets. So that that's exciting for us also. Now we've got investors all over the world that will be watching this video. If an investor wanted to know why they should invest in pure extracts and why this company, in your opinion, is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, what would you tell those investors? Well, I would tell them that we have a unique business model that lets our investors participate in the functional functional mushroom area and the psilocybin area eventually, plus have the benefit of a more mature cannabis market and hemp uh, CBD production arm where we have real contracts and real revenue. So you get a natural hedge to both sides of the business. The cannabis business has come back in the in the marketplace over the last you know, two or three months. The uh, Canadian LPs and the US MSO have gotten stronger you know, from, a, from a trading perspective and the, the winners and losers are shining through today. And then on the functional side, we'll definitely be one of the the players in the functional and eventually the mass production for medical use of psilocybin will be right there with some of our bigger counterparts in the production of that. So you, you get a natural play on both sides. You get the growth of, of, uh, of the mushroom business, plus you get the stability of, you know, the, the uh, daily production of, of cannabis. Now, if an investor wanted to get in contact with you or a company wanted to get in contact with you or with Pure Extracts, What's the best way for them to reach you? Best way is to come to our website, pureactractscorp.com, and uh, there's a, a contact sheet. We'll be trading uh, next week on the CSC. Our symbol is P-U-L-L. We're going to be trading at Cole. Uh, we're excited about that. And if any of your investors or, uh, or other companies need some information about Pure Extracts, ha- happy, to, uh, happy to have a chat with them. Great. Well, we wish you all the best of luck on your IPO. I know that myself and our entire community will be watching very, very closely. And congratulations on all your success so far. And I hope you have an amazing launch on Thursday. This is the CEO of Pure Extracts, Ben Nikolovsky. Thank you, Ben. Have yourself a great day. Thanks very much for having me again. Enjoy the time. Yeah, we hope to do it again soon. If you guys ever have any big news, anything you want to talk to the community about, we'd love to invite you back. Thank you for your time. And congratulations on all your success. And I hope you have a phenomenal debut on Thursday next week. Thanks very much. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Ben. We'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a nice day.